The answer is no. So thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, the answer is no. So I'm not kidding in that regard. But I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about why and the different things and my thoughts on this, right? Uh, first thing I want to say is, yo, I'm just a guy on the internet, clean solar panels. I'm not an expert by any means, but I will go over my thoughts on this question because I do get asked it a lot and I do see it on all the groups and stuff. People often ask this. So number one thing, first and foremost there is always a risk especially when you're dealing with any kind of service industry there's always risk involved so it is an interest to just make sure that you take all precautions that you can to make you feel safe and obviously use common sense when providing such services but i'm going to give you my take uh, some guy on the internet that cleans solar panels take on why i don't shut off solar panels before cleaning uh, number one reason is you can't shut off solar panels because the only way to make solar panels not produce energy is to get rid of the sun right anytime you turn off the system even if you shut off the inverter and the uh disconnect the panels will be producing energy so that's the thing and number two i'm not an electrician so by trade you know all i am i'm just a cleaner and if i turn off the system and then turn it back on and something happens to the system maybe it's not functioning properly after that now i'm responsible for that and I don't want to take that risk, right? I'd rather use my own wherewithal to be safe and safe exercises while performing the service to keep myself safe, right? Because again, the only way to turn off solar panels is to turn off the sun. So what I like to do instead of turning off the system to keep me and my partners and employees safe is to mitigate the risk as much as possible. And I'm going to go over the things that I like to do to do that. So number one is the, um, I always perform a pre-site inspection. Now this is for me and for the customer um, it provides extra value for the customer because it gives them a peace of mind the worst thing is going up on a roof finding some broken tiles letting the customer know hey i found some broken tiles now in their minds did you break the tile or was it already broken now you got a little conflict right so you can get a cheap drone um, or just even putting the ladder up in several different locations getting some video or even pictures and what I like to use um, recently I've been using quote IQ it's a great CRM that I've, I've been uh, using lately for my solar panel cleaning business and the painting business and I really love it it's so easy to use it has so many excellent you take payments you can invoice send quotes on it um, and it, it's geared for all different service industries if you're a, a power washing guy if you're a painter if you wash windows you do solar panels there's um and it's it's customizable fully customizable and it's really great so that's the reason i'm sharing it with you guys now um if you guys are interested i do have an affiliate link down in the link in the description below it'll be the top link there a uh, quote iq give it a shot um i think you guys will will like it and it's, it's for everybody i know a lot of guys that watch these are not just solar panel cleaners um you guys do a lot of different things so check it out because um one of the features that's involved there is it has a pre-site inspection so i like to go on there I provide the customer with the pre-site inspection before I put my feet on the roof, which is always gives me a piece, gives the customer a peace of mind. It gives me peace of mind too, that I'm providing more value for the customer. And then if you do notice that there's a cracked panel or even a cracked tile, but in, for this video, if there's a cracked solar panel or really damaged solar panel, you could go to the customer and say, Hey, you know, I can't clean today because of X, Y, Z, um, X, Y, Z being that your panels are cracked and there's a lot of risk there. So you need to contact your people. Um, number two reason that I use or number two method that I use to mitigate risk is using DI water as it's non-conductive. So um, the little blue filter that you see in the footage in this video, that's a deionized water. We do a pre-rinse on especially on ground mount panels like this that are ready. We do a pre-rinse and you can see buddy there in black doing a pre-rinse with regular water. And then I'm coming behind him with the water fed pole with the DI water. So granted, he wouldn't be safe in that situation, but by using DI water, DI water is non-conductive. So that's another way you can mitigate the risk. Um, even though you're pre-rinsing with the regular water, you still just take the proper precautions, you guys. And now if equipment, if it's something that you just really can't get around the fear of being electrocuted while cleaning these solar panels, and it's a, it's a legit fear. I'm sorry to laugh. I just want to give you guys an option right so they do have some carbon fiber water fed poles that are insulated um you could do some more research on that i didn't delve too deep into it but they are available and um you know most solar panel manufacturers are going to recommend just leave the systems alone they're designed to be under snow load they're designed for rain and hail and all of that stuff 
So really, just get up there, clean the panels, guys, and give me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you made it this far, you're a real one, make sure you put in the comment section, put turn off the sun if you made it this far in the video. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.